Good afternoon, Bug Fam. Once again, it is your boy, Bug, and I am bringing you guys, yet again, another banger video. But before we jump right into this video, I got a couple things I want to talk about just real quick. I want to give a huge thank you to everyone that has bought shirts over this Christmas break. I have sold so many, and that's why they're taking a little bit longer than usual to get them shipped out, because again, it's... I'm just a one-man job, like, I'm filming, editing, posting, and then I got shirt orders coming in, I gotta process, and I gotta package them, find time to get them shipped to the post office. I told you, you guys are killing it on the shirt game. These are the last ones I gotta get shipped out today, and then I'm all caught up. I've done a couple over throughout the week, but you guys, you killed it. I am so stoked on this. I am glad that you guys love the merch. I told you I went with, you know, nice quality shirts. I wanted them to be comfy. Again, if you guys want to cop some of this, I only have a few left in some of the sizes. Just go to the first link down below in the description, copy a shirt. After I get those all packaged up, taped, and then shipped out, I'm going to a local party store to buy some things for today's video, which I'm sure you guys have already seen the thumbnail and title. That is correct. We are going to be blowing up three foot balloons with my Cummins exhaust. It's gonna get huge, and then I'm ho hopefully we get some big pop out of it. I don't know. All right, as you can tell, just left the party store, and I got the goods. Got a couple balloons that we're going to blow up with my exhaust. Hopefully, we can fit them around my exhaust tip because it is a seven inch tip. So that's gonna be my only concern is getting it to fit on that, but we will figure this out. As you can tell, I am now currently back at the shop. For those of you that are newer to the channel, first, hit that subscribe button. But again, this is our family's shop, AKA dealership. This is where a lot of my videos will happen. Uh, if I do any work on Clifford the Big Red Dodge, it'll be about in that area right there. Got our snap-on tool set, our lift, and then, yeah, just, just a bunch of other stuff and supposedly the world's best mechanic. That's me. I'm gonna mess around on uh, this 2018 Harley Davidson while my truck is cooling off because I don't want to put the balloon on over the exhaust while it's warm. So yeah. Got the power washer out. I'm gonna give Clifford a nice little uh, bath. Nothing too crazy, just gonna spray off all the salt because it, it is supposed to rain or snow tomorrow. It's just the salt has been sitting on my truck way too long. And again, if I want to put the balloons over my exhaust tip, I kind of want it to be a little cleaner. 
So I'll spray this off and then we're gonna get the balloons on and hopefully we can, first of all, get them on and then get them to blow up and pop. truck is now nice and rinsed off looking much better now that it doesn't have all that salt on it and then I got the exhaust tip looking nice and shiny again and then when I got done washing that I noticed one of the bug fam homies rolled up tell them then's the name or something uh, at Caden under or Caden Scoots underscore all right that'll also be thrown up on the screen everyone go check him out the homie even hooked it up with a drink I mean dude thanks you rock all right homie Hook up the bugs with some scooter tricks. Let's see what you got. Go full send. Woo! Kill him. What else you got? Back to back. Oh, 180 whip, half cab. Let's see the bar. Stunts. For those of you that did not know, your boy Bug is also a scooter pro, as you can tell. All right, there's just no way in hell that this balloon would fit over my seven inch exhaust. They are very stretchy, but just not that stretchy. So I found this in the dumpster. I'm thinking about cutting a hole in the bottom of it, putting the balloon right where the lid is, and then shoving it inside of my exhaust tip. I'm not sure if that's gonna work, but it is worth a shot. The hole has been cut from the shampoo bottle, and then we got the balloon chilling right from the lid. I'm gonna ram this inside the exhaust tip and hopefully not too much gets past it. Uh, I guess we'll just have to see. All right, this is what we got so far. Like I mentioned, I was going to put this inside my exhaust tip and then the balloon hanging off right here. And then I got this uh, piece of steel to block this from blowing out, so it's kind of wedged it in there, which is going to make the balloon get nice and big, hopefully. Uh, here goes take one, let's see how it works. Prepare to cringe. Oh! Yes! Yes! It worked! It worked! All right, here goes round two. We now have a zip tie on the end of the balloon to hold it from flying off. Here we go. <laughs> it was getting it was getting pretty big it still did not pop so the third time is the charm and I just want all of you to know for saying oh wow bug that is hard on your truck that is that's so cringy well this is actually no worse than having the whole DPF filter on my truck so yeah take that Uh, looks like the rubber broke, so my truck's gonna need some plan B after today. <laughs> well, that experiment is uh, done. I have to say, that was a success. And really, I just wanted to see how big I could get the balloon with my exhaust, and I haven't seen it. I've seen people put like condoms on exhaust tips, but I did a three foot balloon on my straight pipe 6-7 Cummins and really I just wanted to see it pop and how big it would actually get. And again, I already know, I already see it coming. There's gonna be all those comments of being like, hey bug, you're not supposed to do that to your truck. Yeah, no sh That is what it's like having the DPF filter on your truck. There's so much restriction and it can't breathe and yeah, that's why I have the five inch turbo back exhaust in my truck. And this, again, this was all just for fun. This was a little experiment. This was no serious modification, obviously. I do hope all of you got a good laugh out of today's video. If you did, if you did get a good laugh out of it and you enjoyed it, scroll down and drop a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video and you thought it was super cringy, scroll down and drop a thumbs up as well. And your boy Bug, we'll see you guys all again next time. But before this video ends, here is today's Instagram shout outs.
ever want your car, truck, or horse featured in any of my future vlogs from here on out, all you have to do is go follow me on Instagram, which is going to be placed right here, and then send me a direct message of your vehicle. I also ended up buying an extra balloon for this video, just in case that one ended up tearing early, uh, earlier on in the video. So I don't have anything I'm going to do with this. So if anyone wants this balloon, let me know down below in the comments. I'll sign it, and then I'll just send it to one of you guys in the mail. So yeah, go do that if you want this balloon. I'll put my autograph on it and like a nice old smiley face. Thank you to everyone for the continuous support on this channel. It means so much. I love every single one of you for watching the videos, buying my merch. It means so much to me. And again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and give it a share. Show your grandma, your mom, your cousin Billy, and your cat Frank. But your boy Bug is now out. Peace.